Zurich. For many years now, this largest Swiss city has ranked among the world's best for quality of living. Important aspects are the city's beautiful setting and its moderate climate, an organically grown and well-kept historical architecture, successfully continued into the various forms of modern urban structures, and people who want to be creative and productive, who rely on an efficient infrastructure and a clear-cut distribution of property. One of the many substantial prerequisites for all that are reliable and accurate surveying routines. They're the foundation of a multifunctional geographical information system, or GIS. We are proud to state that today, in the city of Zurich, both all official survey protocols and the data themselves are fully digitized, and thus directly available in the GIS. GOZ, Zurich's official geomatics and surveying office has a wide range of responsibilities and permanent duties. Its national and international reputation is impeccable. Leica Geosystems has been a first-class partner for decades. Lately, Zurich's urban development has been almost frantic. GeoZ and its partners are obliged and have proved capable of keeping up the pace. Many private entrepreneurs rely on GeoZ to monitor their large construction sites. It's proven to be the most attractive option, for it guarantees both highest accuracy of all the data, as well as their flawless integration into the GIS, the Geographical Information System. Interrelated spatial data are an ideal planning instrument, which can save a lot of work, and it produces much additional information, too. A GIS combines relational database information on population, infrastructure, business, traffic, and much more, with spatial data of all conceivable areas. That's how statistical facts and figures can be shown on maps in their geographical relationship. This, for example, is a study of suburban supply situations. Where are the gaps? What sort of gaps? What can be done about them? Or a simple address list of a new generation of kindergarten pupils can produce a detailed view of their catchment areas. The Zurich Department of Civil Engineering has recently accomplished and proudly presented a Quantum Leap, an intranet tool for construction coordination. It will help avoid duplication, limit financial surprises, and minimize traffic obstructions. Its main advantage and Quantum Leap quality is the fact that mutations are possible online, all data thus being always up to date. And the system is user-friendly too. As a leading supplier, Leica Geosystems also supports the city's GIS development. Here they present a revolutionary new Leica field system based on the latest GIS technology by Esri. GeoZ wants to put it to a test. This field system represents a revolution in survey technology. All locally relevant data on the mainframe or office system are transferred to a laptop and brought out to the field. The system allows the user to interactively collect new data, immediately compute them, and at the same time, view the data on a graphic display, comparing them with existing information and detecting deviations on the spot. But surveyors are hard to please. Their first hands-on field experience of the new system brings out several suggestions for improvement.
Meanwhile, the Laika people have done significant work. There's a lot at stake, too. With IT, from my experience, I think um, when you see that it works, then it's okay. Laika's field system shows obvious ergonomic advantages. For instance, on-screen instrument positioning control. Motorization does not diminish precision as can be clearly seen. It's worked to the millimeter. Voice recognition and speech feedback are other prominent features that indicate high user friendliness. At point. Measuring survey point. At. Measuring survey point. The skepticism of these survey professionals in the end gives way to appreciation and confidence. Cities are never built, they always develop, and quality of living also depends on how the visions of urban development are displayed and put to discussion. Let's take our new football stadium as an example. The project incorporates many additional services and covers 60,000 square meters. It is crucial to be able to show the people in this city how the building complex looks when it's finished, how it will fit into its surroundings and its stunning, exciting perspectives. To collect and manage spatial data in 3D is one of the new big challenges for geomatic sciences. Looking out here onto this landscape of roofs, you can clearly see its complexity. To measure such landscapes with conventional instruments is virtually impossible. For this, there is the photogrammetry method, measuring with aerial photography. It's an ideal tool. Existing aerial photographs of Zurich are several years old. A new series using one of Leica's high-performance cameras results in image quality which meets the highest demands for photographic maps and three-dimensional modeling. The new photos are enormously detailed. Here, for instance, this structure seems to be straight-lined, whereas looking at the new picture, it appears the way it really is, perfectly rounded. The next step to orientate the aerial photographs using software from Leica's LH systems. Before, GeoZ had measured a few reference points on each image. As aerial photos usually overlap about 75%, they can now be made congruent for stereoscopic viewing. Stereoscopic images allow for measuring 3D as well. That's how we can define the structural details which will serve as the basis for our virtual three-dimensional city model. Everything is on a one-to-one -one scale. Coordinates are correct and so are the shadows. One of the most sophisticated methods for 3D measuring and modeling of objects or structures is Leica's Cyrax laser scanning, which is gaining momentum on the market. In order to communicate, to evaluate, and to make the right decisions, it's crucial to be able to rely on the GIS as well as 3D visualization. Zurich City Council has launched a special planning competition for a town park in this area. Future competition submissions for such projects may very soon all look like this animated 3D model. They will be based neither on guesswork nor on fantasy, but on accurate spatial data in all three dimensions. As we can now simulate such projects with vivid images, we have within our reach the means to really show the people what a great, exciting, fantastic urban situation will soon be created.